Week six jump pack assignment, exercise one. What should you choose? I chose 12 things you're doing every day that can be automated and will automation take away all of our jobs, which is a TED talk. What did you learn from each of them? Mundane repetitive tasks we do at work every day, like managing daily administrative tasks and keeping track of our employees' work schedules or monitoring your expenses and handling customer complaints that you must perform day in and day out. And that can take up hours of your working timetable, automating redundant activities such as emails, presentations, and meeting notes, and can free up valuable time so that you can focus on those things that you're really passionate about or what you need to get done in order to meet deadlines and such. There are even tools that we can use to help with this process like Slack, which is a... Um, it can let you organize team conversations into separate and private and public channels or as well as drag and drop and share all the sorts of files while automating indexing and archiving them. And you can also automatically set up your email client to create email templates um, and customize signatures so that you won't have to write emails from scratch every single time. Um, you can start scheduling computer backups automatically. This way you'll never forget, forget to do it. Um, your data is safe and it won't get into any interruptions or slow down to or you won't get any interruptions or slowdowns to your daily working routine. Um, and then like uh, and we'll and more on the point of will machines take all of our jobs and subs. Um, why are there so many jobs? There are actually two fundamental principles of why there's still so many jobs. One is has to do with the human genius and creativity, and the other has to do with human insatiability and greed, if you like. There is a general principle here that most of the work that we do requires um, a multiplicity of skills in the brains and brawns and technical, technical expertise and intuitive mastery. Perspiration, inspiration, and those words like Thomas Edison. In general, automating some set of those tasks doesn't make them make make the other ones unnecessary. And in fact, it makes them more important. So machines can't take right now can't take over everything and such. And so it still leaves us up to do to do the creativity, um, brainstorming, and things like that. Machines just sort of help automate some tasks but not all of them and moving on to exercise two what do you plan to do to improve moving forward I mean and then the last question exercise one what do you plan to do to improve moving forward I'm um, improved to improve moving forward as a software engineer I will automate mundane coding tasks with scripts that can that can do that task for me if they're if the there is Python packages that I can incorporate that can let me do something in two to three lines of code instead of one to twenty, like twenty lines of code, then I will do that. If there are tools for non-computer programming tasks I will that I can automate, then I will use them to make my work easier, such as organizing emails, presentations, and such. Um, and on to exercise two. Um, I have done numerous data analysis projects, whether personal or professional, and the process of the work was usually the same. I would load the data and check it out. Usually it was in a CSV format. Uh, then I would go about fixing errors, cleaning the data, and this would involve writing a computer program to do so, but did not take so much time. What took more time was writing out the code manually and plotting the graphs and other visualizations. Uh, took to have made these what um, took to have made these projects more quicker and efficient. I could have used non-coding tools like Tableau to create the visualizations, plots and graphs. It would have saved me time and having to write have to write completely I uh, write out the code com completely each and every time because with Tableau all, all you have to do is click buttons and slides and slide the data columns in a certain order in order to explore the data set and create jobs. There is not a com 
complete way to automate this process. I still need to clean and organize the data using a computer program I wrote or use some software based tool that would have to interact with it and dive into the data set myself manually. If I'm dealing with some data set each time, you know, the same data set, I can build out a data pipeline that are that can pre-process the data then display it out on a dashboard of some sort every time you hit refresh it can update each data and dis and display it and that completes my um video